Good morning. I hope you had a good week this week. It's been a little damp, but hey, we all need the rain. If you're like me, you watch TV and we watch basically the same channels, but I'm used to seeing people like Andromeda DeBerry, William Shatner, Danny Glover, J.J. Walker, Joe Namath, and some grumpy lady named Martha and they're all advertising the Medicare Advantage program, wanting you to switch from the government's Medicare to an insurance company's policy that basically provides the same benefits or more, as they would say. I've grown tired of these ads because I thought they were gonna end when the enrollment period ended, but we saw them all year long and now we're at another time where there's an enrollment period for this. Well, it got me to thinking. I remember in a marketing class or a marketing seminar that I went to somewhere in my work history or school history, the person running the class said that the reason you see the same ads over and over and over and over again is because they work. Advertising is very expensive and advertisers would not run the same ads over and over and over again if they weren't working. Same goes for those little ads you see in the magazines in the back. You see that same advertisement in that magazine for years now. It's because that ad generates sales for them. Well, when you think about these Medicare ads, they're doing it on TV and it's very expensive. And the only people that that applies to are us old people. It leaves out all the young people and all. I don't, I, it's amazing that those ads pay off like they do for those companies. But it got me to thinking, there are things that we need to see over and over again and be reminded of over and over and over again. This morning, I want to read to you from uh, 1 Peter, 1 Peter chapter 1, and I'm going to begin in 13. 1 Peter starts out by saying, uh, to praise God for giving us a living hope. And then in verse 13, he starts off saying that we need to be holy. Therefore, prepare your minds for action. Be self-controlled. Set your hope fully on the grace to be given you when Jesus Christ is revealed. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. Since you call on a father who judges each man's work impartially, live your lives as strangers here in reverent fear. For you know that it is not with perishable things such as silver and gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but re was revealed in these last times for your sake. Through him you believe in God, who raised him from the dead and glorified him, and so your faith and hope are in God. Now that you have purified yourself by obeying the truth, so that you have sincere love for your brothers, love one another deeply from the heart. For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and enduring word of God. For all men are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers, and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord stands forever. And this is the word that was preached to you. Be safe. Stay well out there.